Hey, it's uh, 5.30 in the evening on the 2nd of July, 2022. I'm still using this stand to, um, well, because it's easier, that's why I bought it, and trying out the different angles. Um, plus I really need to brush my hair because I had a massage today. So I went to the plaza, the, the Werribee Plaza, I will specify. Um, and went to buy birthday presents, right? So, um, oh, yeah, it's better. It's, and there's better. All right, so um, it is Rachel's birthday on Monday. And I went down with all the intentions to uh, obviously get her a present. Um, as we're aware, my mum's birthday is in September. Um, I don't know, let's rephrase it. So I'm getting her a birthday present, um, which I will send to New Zealand. And I said to my friend, actually, New Zealand today, I was like, because she's like, why are you being so good at doing this when your mum's the way she is? And I was like, well, because I still love my mum. And this is sort of like, I'm going to send the present. And I don't expect her, like, whenever she opens it, I mean, it, to me, it'd be after her actual birthday. <clears throat> but if, it goes like like nothing said, at least then moving forward for me. And I truly know I have done it all that I can, yeah? And um, if you've been following me along for a while, like, you'll be aware of what's going on. Um, there are videos, they're not the nicest ones, um, but they're there in regards to what happened. But um, today, though, Anyway, I just had the most fucking amazing day. I feel like I'm saying this a lot this week, which is awesome. Hey, Loki. Loki. Um, 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 let me think, people. Went to the plaza. Went to get the presents. Did not get any presents. Um, first of all, what did I do? I was looking at massages because obviously we're aware I've worked my ass off the last couple of days. Um, it's been a long time since I saw my chiropractor or had a massage or anything like that. And I had decided, you know, like if I could get one and it was, a, you know, worth it, um, then I would treat myself. And I planned on taking myself out for lunch. So I took my book with me. Um, but then I made it like a tentative appointment for 3 p.m. for a masseuse. Um, and I said, look, like, there are other like there are multiple places in the plaza yeah um and i was able to get another one earlier for a far better price so i ended up paying um 75 dollars for a 50 minute m massage um but it was like deep tissue remedial hot stone the whole thing like combined and oh my god did this woman know what she was doing um i have bad scoliosis and um so my spine's wonky right um it's super noticeable like when i'm wearing tight dresses or like my neck's uneven and my shoulders are like that yeah so how do i make it make sense for you guys on the side yeah so normal and then the other one literally sits out so it's very very noticeable i mean it's noticeable in my tattoo pictures on my website and again I don't totally know where to find them myself, so um, I will get back to you on how to do that easier. But yeah, you can see it in my point. Anyway, so this woman just went at it and fucking hell it hurt, guys. Like, um, but not in a way that it was too much, yeah? Like, I feel amazing. Um, and it's what needs to be done. Like, she got in there with the stones in her arms and, like, at one point she was on the table with her feet like obviously hovering above me like it was full on and it was amazing now the reason i'm explaining it in full detail with my shoulder and everything is because the woman didn't speak english right i mean one or two word pain good not much yeah um so it was quite a like jam-packed place you know only just enough room for the masseuse like the massage table and then someone you know fuck all room between the curtains right um but when i got up she had a phone and she's like 
and then the phone and it's sat in like huge writing it says I will text you and I remember that like I was like what and then I was getting dressed and I was thinking what and then I realized okay she's obviously saying this because it's very apparent from a professional's point of view how much work I need to get done yeah um and I was like I don't like I didn't remember giving a number and then I realized no, no I did when I made the booking because they weren't able to see me straight away either um and she comes back and she's showing me her phone and again she's going like this and making sure she's like no one can see her um and she she holds it up with my number on it and, and I'm like yeah and then I do well oh, and then anxiety hit me like a fucking motherfucker guys and in that split second, right? It's, it's like the whole, have I locked the door, have I not locked the door, door, yeah? I'd read the number on her phone and went, yep, that's fine. And then in the instant she was gone, um, <laughs> was it right? Did I read that right? Did I just give her my right number? Like she's obviously gonna contact me um, outside of her company and she's clearly not supposed to, right? Um, so again, I have a note pad and a pen in my bag so I wrote my name and my number and then I wrote private massage question mark and I called her back to get to give me a glass of water to take painkillers right because I very much needed them by the time we were done um and she came back and I gave it to her and she's like like and we're talking there was no words obviously one she wasn't clearly meant to be doing this and two um no English because she'd already said that no English um but she she showed me the app with the like the translation whatever it was so she yeah so anyway that all happened and so I'm going to backtrack now so in between actually waiting for the um massage right I was still trying to buy presents yeah um and I was walking down the aisles as you do and I'm very bouncy because that's I'm very bouncy in general people um, I'm vibing so high and you know like when you're, you're walking down the plaza and you've got the shops on both ends and you've got those sort of um, I don't know like the in the middle aisle sort of um, companies right and I'm walking along I'm doing my thing and I see this jewelry right and I just stopped and I was like right I'm coming to you didn't hurt the, the man behind the counter was very beautiful as well so I'm looking and I'm like oh my god and there's this ring right now I've wanted this particular type of ring with a particular shape color band like color the whole lot and it was looking at me right and I was just like right oh, okay then and I said 149 I was like fucking hell that's amazing right um and I'm talking to this man and um, it was quite a big ring and I was like, I don't remember what number I had, blah, blah, blah. I got to check the whole thing. And anyway, he's like, oh, you know, like, cause it was a silver band, which was good. Cause I said to him, right gold, it, the, it comes off and it turns out gold and I don't like gold jewelry. Um, anyway, he's like, oh, cause my, it turns out my finger is an eye and a half. Yeah. Or an eye. I think it might be anyway. So I tried it on and I was like, so this one's working um the other one would too would be a lot harder to get off anyway and i don't understand jewelry i'm not a jeweler but he reckoned that the eye and a half was probably as low as he could go and i was like yeah i think that'll be fine he goes any lower it might break and i'm like oh well, i said what happens then and he goes well nothing happens then you just can't have the ring and i was like hmm. so um i left it with him and and like he's like yeah i'll get it done by like four o'clock and i was like cool yeah keep trying to do um shopping for my mother and rachel didn't happen like I didn't buy a thing for me for anyone else um by the time I stuffed around doing that and gone to the bathroom again and then gone back to the masseuse place I was like it was 2 17 I think and my appointment was at 2 30 and there happened to be the nail place like right next door and like I've needed to get my nails done for ages now I've obviously been saving money putting more money aside doing what I need to do bond rent and whatnot yep yeah? I also believe that I'm fully abundant because we all are and it's just a vibrational frequency you got to get to yeah um, but 
yes, where am I at? So I like cannot buy this beautiful ring on my very disgusting fucking nails that are at the point where I just can't seem to figure out how to fix them myself. And whereas I used to in the past never have a day without my nails being done. I just thought it was the worst thing ever if my nails weren't done back when I thought all that bullshit really truly mattered. Um, because it's different, today I've treated myself to a manicure. And when I say manicure, I mean like the very simplest of manicures that I had to sit there for 15 odd minutes trying to wait for them to dry. Um, they didn't dry, they're all like multiple ones are fucked up, but that's fine. Anyway, obviously the point to this story is look, 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 look. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous. I love it people, I'm so happy. Um, so yes, so I got my massage, which I pretty sure I can say that I've found someone who I can get regular massages from, because I don't know how people in those places get paid, but I'm willing to bet she probably didn't get all the money I paid, so obviously, so I'd rather pay her cash and have weekly or you know fortnightly massages because according to the chiropractor my shoulder and back and whatnot can be fixed but it's a very very long process which needs a lot of work so um yeah but if it was able to be fixed and that's what can happen imagine how much that would help me with the current pain i live with guys um, but yeah, I ended up getting takeout because I, at the time all of it had happened and I'd done everything, I was just wrecked. Um, so I'm home, I've had some food, I've got leftovers, and me and Boss are going to watch YouTube channels, um, that's not quite right, YouTube videos. Last night I discovered this amazing channel that I'm just, oh, it, it's awesome, it's called Danielle Kirsty and this this woman who loves true crime and makeup. Now we all know that I don't wear makeup, but when I do wear makeup, I wear the absolute bare minimalistic makeup there is because I don't really know how to put on the majority of stuff. And I think it takes me a, it wouldn't take ten minutes incomplete for me to do my makeup um, if that helps put it in perspective. So. People are always saying, oh, Liv, if you want to learn how to wear makeup, blah, 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 watch YouTube, chan watch YouTube. And I'm like, mm, no, good. Would rather just not wear makeup than have to watch YouTube channels on how to do it, truthfully. Um, but this woman doesn't talk and narrate how to do your makeup. She just does it, right? And she does it in a way that you can learn through it, right? But she does it while talking about these true crime stories that she has clearly put in like so much work like the stories are fascinating uh, and she's, she's done her due diligence that's for damn sure um and yeah danielle kirsty is fucking cool if i can figure it out uh, if i can i will share her link to her channel and mine because she's awesome um and i think that's us for now oh i did say to the wonderful man with the ring um that People in the western suburbs of Melbourne, the Pacific Werribee store is where I was today. And the man's, well the place is Marcus Galleria. And his name was Giovanni. And he was awesome. Um, so that's my shout out for that today. Oh, and one last thing, because oh my god, how did I forget? I've been bitching about my glasses, yeah? So they've been driving me insane, couldn't see, haven't been able to see since I got them fucking using the spray, using the cloth, blah, blah, blah. It's driving me bonkers. So I went to Specsavers and I spoke to this absolutely awesome woman. Um, and she goes away and she's like, I'm gonna try something. And then she goes away and she comes back to it. I think I may have just changed your, changed your life. And then she hands me the most cleanest glasses I've ever seen. And I was like, oh my God, you absolutely have. How did that happen? And she tells me, and I was, oh, so I'm 36 and I'm fairly certain I started wearing um, glasses around 23 or 24. So, um, 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 yes. 
she goes warm soapy water not too hot but warm soapy water give them a really good clean lather them up soaping she goes lick them to get most of the like all the excess water off and then use a very clean tissue or very clean like glasses um cloth just to get the very last of the the, the droplets off oh my god it's unbelievable she's like most people don't realize you can do this i was like i definitely didn't um and she said the like the lean spray and the cloths in that they usually only like they're removing like the, the surface is shit she's like but the oils and the face and this and everything else she's like they build up and they're not coming off and i'm like yeah i know that's why i'm here they're driving me crazy um absolutely fantastic if you happen to see this and because we're all aware i give out the name of my websites to random people i meet because i can um Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have changed my life. And to all of you out there who wear glasses, warm soapy water. Oh, it's amazing. It's like magic. So simple. Um, and on that note, I am done for today. Good night. Oh, not working.